Newt Moss, who's an immunologist at the Jackson Laboratory. He's based in Connecticut. Daria, great to have you back. Uh, let's start with the study from The Lancet on hydroxychloroquine, which we know has been quite a controversial drug, uh, not just here in the U.S., but also abroad. Is there a concern, not just with this study, but with all the studies in the race to find a vaccine or a treatment that we're moving too quickly and the proper protocols are not being checked here when researchers are conducting these studies. Yes, I think there's a great concern, actually, as such reputable journal as Lancet and, and uh, coincidentally today, uh, another major paper from New England Journal of Medicine, which is the premier journal in uh, clinical medicine, has retracted another paper uh, which uh, show that which had claimed that uh, the uh, drugs used for hypertension do not affect uh, COVID uh, patients. Uh, so these and this is not the first time. I mean, there are several other uh, high-profile papers have been retracted or highly questioned. Uh, clearly, we are moving very fast. Uh, you know, this is an emergency, but. I think uh, both the journals uh, as well as the reviewers and the, of course, the authors uh, are uh, sort of um, omitting the, the key step, the quality steps that we have to go through. And it's really unfortunate because we're actually wasting very valuable time. And as this drug uh, demonstrates, uh, has consumed a lot of energy and, uh, you know, we still don't understand whether this drug works or not. Uh, although. There was a study just published in, again, in New England Journal of Medicine that it did not as a prophylactic. Um, uh, yes, the, I would uh, strongly agree that uh, we're moving too fast. Is it, you know, obviously it's an emergency situation. Everybody wants to find a treatment. They want to find a cure. They want to find a preventative measure, measure like a vaccine. So we can say that there is a sense of urgency there, but isn't the problem also the competition right now to be first and the shortcuts that some companies and researchers might take to do that? Absolutely. I think uh, you see that more in the vaccine front. Uh, there, there's, there's large amounts of uh, uh, money involved in this. Uh, uh, U.S. government, for example, awarding, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars to several companies uh, uh, just to sort of uh, run these uh, phase two, phase three trials. And of course, uh, anyone who sort of uh, uh, comes to the finish line, if, if they can, uh, they will uh, reap the benefits in, in billions of dollars worth of uh, uh, products. And, you know, there, this is uh, absolutely uh, also uh, sort of muddying the, the, the scientific process, even some scientists involved in this uh, are sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, not really showing the actual data and, and really uh, ex exaggerating what uh, what they really find. Uh, but um, uh, I agree that that's another huge problem right now. Daria, I want to just uh, look at one other aspect of this, which is you look at the news right now and it's hard to believe that we're still in the middle of a pandemic with the protests that we've been seeing happening across the country when you see tens of thousands of people demonstrating in major cities across america what does that mean for a possible second wave of cases of covid 19 that we could see here in the united states I mean, I think this is almost the worst case scenario right now. Uh, the, the, these protests couldn't, uh, obviously, they're, they're totally justified for this horrible situation, but uh, they, they, couldn't, they couldn't happen in a worse, uh, worse time. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really worried that uh, all the progress that we have done uh, with, with the quarantines and isolations and, and the massive suffering that we have, on, uh, have gone through is going to be undone with this, uh, because clearly, uh, this is exactly what you should not do, uh, you know, assembling big, big crowds uh, where people are very close proximity. Uh, even though a lot of people seem to be wearing masks and outside, that might limit a little bit the, the spread. But clearly, uh, people are almost stacked right. on top of each other. Uh, and yeah. this is uh, Daria, extraordinary. Daria, unfortunately, uh, we have concern. to leave it there, but we really appreciate you being with us. Daria Anutmaz, thanks for that.